when when heat is given to a substance then its temperature rises but when a solid melts here when a solid melts its temperature remains constant so where does the heat go to explain this let us look at the temperature heat graph drawn here first this temperature say is minus 4 degrees Celsius and you have some ice and you keep supplying heat to this ice as you keep supplying heat to the ice the temperature from 4 degrees Celsius rises to 0 degrees Celsius now at 0 degrees Celsius you continue heating the ice now here something interesting happens as you continue heating the ice you expect the temperature to rise further but that what that does not happen the temperature in fact remains constant in spite of the heat supplied the temperature at 0 degrees remains at 0 degrees for quite some time so here again it remains at 0 degrees but there's something else that happens here the water or the ice here gets converted into liquid water so in this phase in this phase here in this phase here the solid changes into a liquid but temperature here remains constant temperature remains constant although heat is not heat is supplied now after all the ice has melted all this ice here here you have blocks of ice has melted into water this is at zero degrees and this is at zero degrees here this too is at zero degrees after all the ice has melted into the water and now you again continue heating now here the temperature keeps rising up again the temperature will rise once it reaches 100 degrees Celsius again the temperature remains constant for some time here it remains constant at 100 degrees you have supplied heat but there is no rise in temperature the temperature remains constant but there is something else that happens here is the liquid water the liquid which is water here the liquid water changes into gas which is a vapor a change of state takes place liquid changes to a gas but temperature remains constant so this whole graph can be divided into two areas the area which is blue here there is rise in temperature but no change in state and then we have this green one where here where there is change in state from solid to liquid but no rise in temperature again here we have rise in temperature here the rise in temperature from C to D there is rise in temperature but no change in state and again from D to E there is a change in state but no rise in temperature so we'll just summarize this here so we have from along A see along this A there is heat is supplied there is change in temperature at B no change in temperature no change in temperature but 
There is change in state. But at uh, C, not D, there is and then at E, no change in temperature but change in state. So, at A, there is change in temperature. At D, also at C, So here we have B, B is here, no change in temperature but change in state and then again for C we have change in temperature, at C we have change in temperature and D no change in temperature but change in state. Let's explain at molecular level what happens. So at first we have here solid and in this solid we supply the heat and as we keep supplying the heat in this solid say the temperature is minus 4 degrees Celsius the temperature becomes now keeps on increasing the heat and becomes 0 degrees Celsius. Here the heat supplied the heat, sub, uh, heat is used to increase the temperature. So the temperature increases from minus 4 degrees Celsius to 0 degrees uh, Celsius. And the kinetic energy also increases. The heat is used to increase the kinetic energy of the particle. Now when the particle reach this stage at 0 degrees, that's a melting point. Now the heat, there is still heat given here given out. So the heat in this case now it is supplied, heat is supplied. Now the heat is used not to increase the temperature but it is used to overcome the forces of attraction. So here it overcomes the forces of attraction and we get a liquid. So they all gain kinetic energy and they overcome the forces of attraction. So in this area here there is a change of state. So if you see here, the heat is used to overcome the forces of attraction and to change the state. Once all the solid melts, when all melts, now again we supply heat. Now in this region, again there is a rise in temperature. There is a rise in temperature because here again heat is used to increase kinetic energy. So from 0 degrees Celsius it now comes to 100 degrees Celsius, liquid at 100 degrees Celsius and you continue heating it. Here you continue heating it and all the liquid, all this liquid here becomes into gas. Here again the temperature remains constant. Here the temperature remains constant because this heat, the heat here is used to, heat is used to change state to overcome the forces of attraction. So in both these areas, in this area there is no rise in temperature because the heat is used to overcome the forces of attraction. And here too where there is a change in state there is no increase in temperature because the heat is used to overcome the forces of attraction and to change the state. So where does the heat go when a solid is melting? When there is no rise in temperature? The heat is used to overcome the forces of attraction during the change in state.